Hello everybody. How are you all tonight? Well, I'm doing pretty good. I uh, just finally got accomplished my pull-up bar, which I'll show you it. See that white bar right there going across underneath the Ecuadorian flag? Yes, I do have an Ecuadorian flag. And uh, that is my new pull-up bar I just put up tonight. And that thing was a pain to put up, let me tell you. They said on the box that it was a, uh, it's a perfect pull up. Now I'm not sure if that means the pull up itself or maybe the pull up bar, because pull up bar, pull up, you know, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. So let me show you why it was difficult to put up this pull up bar. First, look at that. Does that look easy? Yeah, it looks all easy. Right. Until you have to even it out with this one over here. Both of them have to be even with each other, like um, parallel with each other. Because if you don't, this pull up bar, see how that works? It does that. And then, does that. see that? So it's supposed to do that. And if you don't, it's going to be all crooked. And stuff, and if it's crooked, then your pull up's gonna be crooked, and you don't want a crooked pull up, you know. You want to be straight and easy. Well, maybe not easy, but it needs to be straight. And then the other hard part was putting that thing in there. See that the notch thing? That part is the thing that moves this thing. See that? And then you had to put two screws right there. Then you had to even it with the other one right over here. And that was hard, so you had to make sure that all four of them were parallel with each other and that they went, you know, straight across from each other and one wasn't higher than the other or, you know, you know, one was more to the left than the right. Because the problem is, is this piece of wood right here, this strip of wood right here, this thing's not made for, this pull-up bar's not made for that. But I uh, improvised an idea, improvised, adapt, and overcome, that type of deal. So that's what I did. So that is my new pull-up bar. I just put a. I had another pull-up bar. This thing right here. But the problem is, is it moves around a lot. See that? So I'm going to destroy that. I was originally going to put it on my door, right up there. But the problem is, is this part right here. If let me show you. Reason being is because you see this thing, this thing like goes up here like that on the outdoor and it would put a lot of tension on the frame part right here and it could rip it off. So you don't want to put too much pressure on that or tension or it might snap and then my dad would not be pleased because <laughs> he would have to fix it probably and he wouldn't want me fixing it. <laughs> So I decided to put it in my closet, you know this thing, one nice thing is this thing is like, can extend, um, it can go, uh, it can, it's made for that type of door, and this is a whole closet, so this is for two doors put together. So, it worked out well, so I'm going to show you all how this is done, how the professionals do it, just kidding, I'm not a professional. I'm just doing my job. So, there's actually grip things that you have to put on here. Like, you see that grip thing right there? That's a grip. But I don't really like it because I think I use my grip more. So I'm just going to take it off. If your hands are sweaty, that's why they have them. So when your hands sweat, you don't lose the... Because this is all metal right here. This is a metal pole, so you don't want to lose uh, your grip. That's why they have these grip things, but I don't need them because if my hands do get sweaty, well, then I just put them on, but I don't need that. So, here we go. See, there's several type of pull-ups you can do. You can do these, you can do these, and things like that. And you can do like an ab workout, which I'll show Like an ab exercise, I'll show you in a couple minutes. And there's several different types you can do. So I'm going to show you the first type. Do these. You 
you do those and then you can do these which these this type of pole works your back a lot which that's a lot harder to do which I'm still working on doing that and then um you can do the one arm which is really hard which I'm not sure I need the grip for that one so I'll show you it's not an actual one arm, it's just a way of um, practicing so when you do do a one arm, because the one arm pull up is like this, where you pull yourself up, but I can't do that quite yet. So what I've done, I got taught by, I can't remember who taught me the idea, but, or maybe it was uh, some someone on the internet that showed me, because I, I follow like a bunch of uh, fitness exercise programs on the internet. So there's a bunch of guys that give me advice on you know how to properly work out and stuff. So that's what I do. So one dude gave me an idea. You do this. That idea, which that hurts. <laughs> so you do that with every arm. You'll get pretty strong after a while. Then you can. Then you can do like these things, you know, pole things. Then you can do this. Then you can do this. Pull yourself up on the back. Which hurts a lot, but you know, pain is weakness leaving the body. So, that's my pull-up bar for you all, so I hope it lasts me for many years, and I'm probably going to take it everywhere I go if I move. <laughs> so, yep, I'm going to destroy this other frame thing that me and my dad built, because I don't need it since I got this thing. I don't need the other one. Like a boss. That's the way you do it. So, that is the way... I do things around here. It took me like an hour just to put that thing together. Incredible, isn't it? Well, the reason being is because I had to use like this to, uh, you know, measure it out and stuff and things of that sort. But I'm done now. So now I can work out. And actually, it is time for me to work out. So, yeah. <laughs> all right, well, you all have a good night and see you all later. Bye.